hey guys so i just filmed um a update hair video for you guys i know i have been filming a lot of i've been filming like two videos a day a lot these days so please don't know like get angry or anything i look basically the same but that's okay like i don't understand why it's why you have to like switch up the way you look in video like if you want to film a multiple videos on a day, why do I have to switch up the way that I look? Like, why can't I just film multiple videos on a day? <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, um, this video is going to be a story time video. So, I was really contemplating if to do this story time thing because I know, like, there's a bunch of, like, people that are like, oh, you're copying Simply Nessa. I will link her YouTube down in the description bar. But apparently she's really famous for doing, or pop, not famous, popular, for doing story time videos. And a lot of people have been doing story time videos um, these days because it has been boosting their subscriber count. But um, I've always actually wanted to tell you guys this story, but I just never ended up filming this video. I don't know how come. I did try filming this video a few weeks back, but my camera was not cooperating with me. And hopefully he would cooperate today. And yes, my camera is a he. So, yeah, let's just get into the story. So, this story, as you can see by the title, is about the time I almost died. Wait, hold up. Did she say almost died? Slash lost my legs. Lost your legs? Girl, what? I don't know if I'll make that the whole title, but yeah, that's the gist of the story. So, when I was 17, yes, I was 17, I was about... 50 to 60 pounds heavier than I am now and I really wanted to lose weight so what I did was I went to spin or cycling I know Americans call it cycling in Trinidad and in the Caribbean we call it spin so I went to spin class with my brother and sister I am my brother and sister or thin <laughs> not my brother is like fit and buff and stuff and then my sister she's thinner thinner than me she's really tiny so they um went gym a lot at that time and i went gym with them and i wasn't fit obviously you know i was a little chunky and um i went spin with them and i went on the bike i wasn't really doing the exercises because if you know about spin uh, when you first start it's pretty pretty hard like you can't really do the exercises because your muscles are not accustomed to it and your muscles aren't strong enough to do the exercises so i was just basically pedaling on the bike and um, you don't know spin is a stationary bike and you just do exercises on it like you have an instructor and you do exercises on it and blah 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 so um yeah i'm not gonna explain <laughs> that was a horrible explanation if you don't understand what spin is um just google it anyway and i went spin and i really wanted to come off the bike but my sister was like no keep going keep trying because obviously when you now start to exercise you kind of want to give up really easily because it's, re it's really hard when you now don't start so i wanted to give up and she's like no keep going keep going so i kept going and I can't remember if the te what the tension was on the bike because you could switch up the tension. You can make it less te less tension or more tension. Like, and the more tension you put, you know, the more you have to you have to wait to push the bike. It's like weights basically. And um, I can't remember how much tension I had, but I'm assuming I had I had to have a lot of tension on the bike for this to happen to me. So when the spin class was over, the spin class was an hour, so when the spin class was over, um, the instructor instructed us to come off the bike so we could stretch. When I came off the bike, like my one of my feet was still stuck in the, still tied in the pedal, and when I came off the bike, I didn't know my muscles weren't working, so I just collapsed to the floor and Okay, so my camera just stopped filming. Every time I film this video, my camera just doesn't work. I don't understand. I don't know if it's a sign or not, but it just doesn't work. So hopefully this um, works and I'm in focus and everything. Anyway, so as I said, where was I? Um, 
Yeah, I came off the bike and I fell and I sprained my ankle and I couldn't use my muscles at all. I couldn't walk or anything. So my brother and somebody at the gym had to carry me into um, our car and then my brother had to carry me into the house when he reached home. And uh, my mom iced my ankle. If you guys don't know, my mom is a doctor. So she iced my ankle and whatnot. And then about an hour later, um, I could have walked. So I bathed or showered, sorry, I showered <laughs> and I went to bed and then the next morning I was in a lot, a lot of pain and I could have barely walked but I thought that's because I sprained my ankle and it was black and blue and stuff still. So I just, you know, thought I sprained my ankle. <laughs> so I went back by business. I couldn't really walk so I was just in bed that day. I didn't eat or drink because I didn't want to get up to use the bathroom. <laughs> I still got up to use the bathroom though, like if you don't eat or drink, you know, you still have st fluid and stuff in your system. So I still got up to use the bathroom, but it it wasn't like a lot. And then the next day, the pain kept getting worse and worse and I couldn't walk more and more. I could have barely walked. I struggled a lot to walk and my legs were really big. Like naturally, I have thick legs and because I was, you know, heavier then, my legs were really big. So, um, you'll understand why I said that, um, eventually. <laughs> um, so, I think like three or four days into not being able to walk, I told my mom like something's wrong and she, um, she's asking me if I was supposed to get my period and I was like, yeah, um, I'm supposed to get my period sometime soon. She's like, okay, maybe that's why you're not feeling too well, you know. And I also didn't stretch after I exercised because I fell, so I didn't really stretch. It's like, oh, that's why you know it's like your muscles are probably you know, aching and stuff. Because you know, like when you now start to exercise after not exercising before, your muscles do ache. So that's what she thought it was. And um, I think the next day I used the bathroom and um, I saw red. So I was like, okay, I got my period because I was expecting my period, and I put a had on and then I went back to bed because as I said I barely walked I was in bed all day <laughs> didn't drink I didn't eat and um, my family didn't um, understand that I was in pain they thought I was just milking the situation that doesn't mean my family is bad or anything like I was just they just thought I was milking the situation and um, uh, and then I complained to my mom again and I told her that I did get my period and she was like, okay, well, maybe, you know, that's why you're not feeling well, whatever. And then I went to the bathroom again that day and I looked at the pad and I was like, there's nothing on the pad. This is a very weird period. Like, why is there nothing on the pad? And I was 17 at the time. So I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. This is a weird period. Okay. I didn't think anything of it. Like, I didn't really know anything medical related. Like, how I know medical stuff now. So I was just like, okay, whatever. I didn't tell my mom anything or, any, or like that. I just told her. She just knew that I had my period or she thought I had my period. I went back to bed. And then, um, so this is like a week after spinning class. Um, and it was like midnight one night like a week after and I couldn't take the pain anymore like I was in a lot a lot of pain I couldn't walk as I said before so I went to my parents room and woke my mom up I was like mommy something is wrong like I can't take this pain anymore like she's like okay let me stretch you because she thought I, I didn't stretch and my muscles were tense and hurting and aching and whatnot so she stretched me and I was bawling like my legs were so super super stiff I could not move them I was bawling 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 it was so much pain like it was excruciating and my father who was next to me on the bed was like oh god girl you're making so much noise and then my brother and sister that was sleeping down the hall woke up and came and I was like oh god you're making so much noise because they had wake in the morning so they went to sleep obviously so yeah they were like curling with me and um, then the next morning, I, did, I don't think I slept that night, but yeah, the next morning, um, my mom was like, okay, let me put some clothes on you because no one was helping me. <laughs> and I was in a lot of pain and I couldn't move, as I've said numerous times. Um, so when I bathed, which I couldn't really do because all our bathrooms, the shower, you had to like step over and I couldn't really lift my legs. So all of that was like, 
it was like torture that week because I couldn't do anything. So my mom was like, okay, I'm put some clothes on you in case someone comes because I was going to be home alone. I do have a grandmother that lived with me, but I can't remember like where she was, but I, I remember knowing that I was going to be home alone. So they called my other grandmother who doesn't live with me to come over because they realized that I was probably kind of sick. <laughs> so and uh, my mom went to get the clothes and I went to use the bathroom I had to urinate <laughs> so because I couldn't really sit I couldn't sit either I forgot to mention that I couldn't sit so I couldn't sit on the toilet bowl so I had to try to aim <laughs> into the toilet so I stood over the toilet so this is the toilet seat and I was like this over the toilet seat and I had to try to aim into the toilet bowl and obviously I missed because you know I'm not accustomed to aiming okay I'm not a guy so <laughs> I missed and my mom saw the urine and she was like oh my god that is not your period and she started to freak out and I'm like mommy calm down like why are you getting all that because I didn't understand what was happening to me and um She's like, oh gosh, we need to go to the hospital. No, 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 no. And she's like panicking. Like, even though she's a doctor, like to see a child and know like something's horribly wrong going on, she one time went into panic mode. So she was panicking. And I was like, okay. Like, like I didn't understand. So she's like, you need to bathe now. We need to go to the hospital. No, no, no. I was like, okay. So um, I was taking my cool time because I couldn't walk. And uh, for me to bathe, as I said before, I had to step over. So I think it's my cool time. My mom buffed me, like, hurry up, hurry up. I'm like, mommy, I kind of moved. And then we went into the car, which took like 10 minutes because I couldn't sit in the car. I had to like find a way for me to be in the car because I wasn't in a car for that whole week because I was just home. And um, then. We went to the hospital I had to like usually like when you have a patient in the hospital they'll get you a wheelchair and carry you in so they wanted to get me a wheelchair I was like nope I cannot sit down I will take my time and walk inside the emergency room so I walked into the emergency room and then my mom started to explain to me what's happening she was like you have so and so I always forget the name of it which is bad of me because I'm a medical student but I would ask her the name of it and I would insert it here um, or wherever somewhere I wouldn't sit it and um, apparently my muscles were deteriorating because I overworked them and they were going into my kidneys and flowing into my urine and that was making my urine a red wine color which I thought was my period but I'm I realized now that period blood and um, urine in your I mean blood in your urine looks totally different and yeah, like blood in urine looks like a red wine color and you you females know what period blood looks like. So yeah, and um apparently like the all the buildup from the muscle deterioration into my kidneys could have given me kidney failure and I could have died because both of my kidneys were filtering this um stuff the residue from my muscles and so I could have got both my kidneys to form and died. And um when I reached the hospital, my mom and her friend, which is was my doctor, um, had to decide if to cut open my legs or to just leave it because um, usually when, when you have what I had, apparently like when the first thing you have to do is cut open your legs so it will relieve the pressure because your legs do get swollen and it's basically like you know you have like cut like it's basically like your this my skin is my muscle and you're just cutting away cutting away cutting away cutting away and it's deteriorating basically so you obviously your body will react to that and your legs will get swollen and you have a lot of pressure and tra la 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 so usually like cut it open to relieve the pressure and I'm really sorry if I'm all over. I'm very horrible at telling stories. But yeah. <laughs> and um, but because I had, I was like, I had it for like a week. Um, they didn't want to cut open my legs because I could have gotten an infection easily. Like if you catch it when you just got it, you could cut it open and be fine. But if you catch it later on and you cut your legs, you could get an infection. So that would have caused me to lose my legs. Obviously, I would have had to get amputated. And um, so they had to choose between cutting my legs 
and leaving it and hoping for the best. But if they left it and hoped for the best and it didn't get better, I would have had to amputate my leg. So in both situations, I would have to amputate my leg. But my mom decided not to cut my legs open because she didn't want me to have scarring. So yeah, they just ice my legs and um, yeah, that was my treatment, just icing my legs. I was in hospital for about a week. I did have to get a catheter and they didn't have to give me six liters of fluid before I even passed urine because as I said, for the week before, I wasn't drinking or eating anything. So I had like nothing in my system. Okay, yeah, I had like nothing in my system, so yeah, and when they gave me that six liters, I was still passing that red wine color of urine, I, I can't remember like how much, um, how much fluid I had to get after to, until the red wine color went away, but yeah. And uh, my mom gave me the catheter, if you're asking, if you're me asking, wondering, because I did have a male doctor and uh, I was really young and I didn't want any male doctor seen down there, okay? <laughs> like, no. And so my mom, my mom deals with everything medical related with me, so she's, you know, seen my papa since, since I was born and she checks everything so my camera cut off again like oh my gosh i think like i'm not meant to do this video but i'm almost done so as i was saying i kind of forgot where i was but if you guys like this kind of story time videos from me please like this video comment down below and tell me that you want more story time videos because i got a lot more girl a lot more so i like this video comment and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one I don't even know if the like the end of this video was good because it's freaking camera man.